So this is our Flux EM1 electric moped. It can do 38 miles per hour and up to 50 miles on a charge. We've had it for about a year, putting it through its paces. And in this video, we'll share with you why we think it's something to consider, whether it's for your local transportation in your hometown or out on the road in your RV. So, so stay, stay tuned. tuned. Last year, after renting a couple smaller RVs, a Class B and a Class C motorhome, we started exploring the possibility of parking our big motorhome on an annual campsite as a home base and getting smaller Class B or Class C motorhome for more nimble RV travel. In our research and planning phase, we weighed up our options for local transport so we could stay nimble and not always need to break camp with the RV. We figured our best option would be bicycles. We already had one electric bike and a regular adventure bike, or an electric scooter for running local errands and exploring. So we started looking more closely at Flux electric mopeds because they're a great cross between a motorcycle and an electric bicycle. The Flux EM1 electric moped is like a motorcycle in that it's a proper vehicle with seating for two, lights, turn signals, and a powerful motor that rides faster and farther. But like an electric bike, it's super quiet, low maintenance, and there's no smelly fuel or exhaust. It's easy to ride, easy to park, and transport. It doesn't require special licenses in most states. Then Flux sent us one to try it out for ourselves and ask for our feedback. After using it for a few weeks and putting it to its paces, we loved it so much that we decided to keep it. And as it turned out, we didn't end up buying a Class B or Class C to travel with, but we did travel with the Flux on a rack on the back of our Class A motorhome for a short while. And we've also since mounted it on the back of our Jeep. We changed our RV setup last fall, deciding to buy a home base and a Casita trailer for part-time travel. But now we mostly use our Flux as our primary mode of transport as our local ride when we're at home. But we have also taken it out with a rental Class C motorhome and we'll definitely take it with us when we get another RV that can transport it in the future because it's so much fun and an affordable way to get around. The 1490 watt motor has lots of power for its lightweight scooter. It weighs about 160 pounds and then we have two batteries at 22 pounds each for around 204 total pounds. So it feels really quick on neighborhood roads, which is where you'll most likely do most of your riding. It can go from zero to 30 miles per hour in under eight seconds, but it feels much faster. And it has a lot of torque to climb steep grades with ease, even 20% grades. Being electric, it's also not affected by altitude, unlike gas mopeds, which lose a lot of their already limited power. The Flux EM1 tops out around 38 miles per hour or 60 kilometers an hour, so you wouldn't want it to spend too much time on 50 mile per hour roads unless they have low traffic. The independent front and rear hydraulic disc brakes are responsive and do a great job of stopping. Suspension is smooth and it feels very planted and stable, even when we have two passengers and the cargo is brushing up against the 330 pound limit. Speaking of cargo, I usually keep my helmet in the shad cargo case when I'm not riding and then carry the cargo from the errands in there while I am riding. And parking options are even more abundant for small scooters. We also love that it is extremely low maintenance. I basically just need to make sure the tires have air and keep the battery charged up, which is really convenient for when we're traveling as we don't need to worry about getting repairs or maintenance done when we're in remote areas. Yeah, to give you an example of how quiet the Flex EM1 is, Normal conversation is around 60 decibels, yet the maximum sound level of the flux is only 30 decibels. That means you won't disturb your neighbors in a campground or your hometown, and it allows you to fully immerse yourself in the environment when riding. For example, you'll hear birds chirping, the stream gurgling, trees rustling, and being on a moped instead of a car, you also smell the flowers and feel the cool breeze. Here's a couple quick specs for you. It's about 74 inches long, 29 inches wide, including the mirrors, and 31 inch seat height. It weighs about 160 pounds without batteries, and then the batteries are 22 pounds each. So you can have one or two lithium ion batteries. So how do you transport the Flux EM1 electric moped? You can carry the Flux EM1 on a hitch mount carrier on the back of a vehicle or motorhome. You could even transport the Flux in the back of your truck 
in a toy hauler RV or in a small cargo trailer behind a smaller vehicle. Or if you want to have a towed vehicle and a flux, you could mount the rack to the back of your towed vehicle like RV, assuming that your vehicle has the hitch and an adequate cargo capacity. We transport our flux with a Mototote MTX M3 motorcycle carrier, which works great. Initially, we tried another carrier, but it was not well suited at all. It was difficult to load and even harder to secure without damaging the RV. After one use, we sold it and got the Mototote instead, which works perfectly with the Flux EM1 in terms of loading, securing, and safely transporting the Flux EM1 electric moped. It can carry up to 500 pounds with a tire width of up to six inches. It's made of black powder coated heavy duty steel, it includes a loading ramp and front tire mount. We've been super happy with it and you can order the straps and lighting kit as well. We find it really easy to roll the flux up onto the ramp and the rack. The tie down hooks are in excellent locations for easily securing the motorcycle or scooter. The loading ramp secures to the rack when it's not in use. That lighting kit is great for visibility for other drivers if your scooter or motorcycle blocks your regular tail lights when your motorcycle is loaded. The rack fits any two inch receiver and has great no wobble hitch mount. The Flex EM1 comes with a battery charger, which you can plug into any 120 volt outlet. It only takes about three hours to charge each battery, but we usually leave our battery on charge overnight. Most of our rides are fairly short, so we only charge the battery every week or two. The battery range on the Flex EM1 is up to 25 miles per battery. So with two batteries, you can go up to 50 miles on a single charge. The batteries are easily removable, so you can charge them anywhere. We like having two batteries with one as a spare so we don't run out of range when riding it. Generally, I'll keep only one of those batteries plugged in at a time, and that way, no matter how far I go, I always know I have a fresh battery to get home. It's available in multiple colors, yellow, red, blue, black, taupe, and silver, which is the one we have. And although it's not required in all states, we still highly recommend you wear a helmet and probably some gloves. We also bought new HJC i30 helmets since our previous helmets that were aging out. I think the clear face shield is nicer than a full face helmet for this moped because it's so much easier to read the gauges without dipping your head too far down. But we find the shad top case is great for cargo as it keeps the weight of a backpack off of your shoulders and it's a handy and safe place to store your helmet when left unattended. Flux Mopeds also has a waterproof cover to keep your scooter protected and you can buy the Mototote carrier and accessories from Flux as well as helmets, racks, straps, cargo case and extra battery all from Flux at their website. Yeah, so for our RVers, they offer the local ride package, the haul and ride package and the long haul package. We'll include a link so you can check them all out and see which one might work best for your needs. Of course, you can buy the Flux E1 moped just with the scooter and without a package at all. Uh, they start at $2,600 and it includes one 25-mile range battery and, of course, the charger. Yeah, whereas a fully loaded version like ours with a second battery, the Shad cargo case, and a Mototote MTX M3 to transport it when traveling, it'll cost a bit over $4,000. Now this is still less than it costs to even set up a car to be towed for down, not to mention buying the car and the related insurance and maintenance costs. So it's really simple and affordable transport option. Flux builds to order. So customers can order their electric moped and have it shipped directly to their door, eliminating the middleman and keeping costs down. It can take up to 70 days. It arrives in a metal crate wrapped in cardboard on a pallet. It's very protected and ready to ride when it arrives. So what do we think about our Flux? Our Flux electric moped has been great for regular everyday home life, not just when we're traveling. And now that we have a home base, we actually find that we use our Flux even more than we did when we're on the road full time with our big motorhome. It just doesn't make sense to use our Jeep to do short trips to the grocery store or post office when the weather's nice. It's estimated that it only costs around 14 cents to charge the battery, which can travel about 25 miles. So when considering the various towing options out there for RVers, the price seems very reasonable and the quality is high on this electric scooter. In fact, it doesn't cost much more than some electric bikes and is way less than others. 
In looking around, we have seen other electric scooters of lower quality for a couple hundred dollars less, but most similar quality scooters are more expensive than the Flex EM1. The Flex mopeds are a great option to consider for many RVers as alternate transportation as campsite space can often be limited. If you like to be more nimble in your travel and travel by Class B or Class C RV, Mounting an electric scooter on a Mototote MTX M3 rack means you can still use reverse and lose virtually no mobility. And once you're in your campsite, you won't have to break camp with your rig. You can just do your running around with a fun little electric moped. So the bottom line is that we've really enjoyed this Flex for the last year. We think it's a fantastic solution, whether it's in your hometown or out on the road with your RV. Yeah, so if you want to learn more, head on over to our blog at rvlove.com forward slash flux or directly to the website of the company, flexmopeds.com. If you decide to order a Flux EM1 electric moped for yourself, let them know you watched our video, mention RV Love, and they'll throw in a shad top case for your cargo. If you've got any comments or questions at all about the Flux EM1 electric moped, drop us a note down in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you, love to answer your questions. And uh, till next time, we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the road. road.